On their first day in Colombia, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made a striking impression, especially with Meghan's choice of luxury jewelry, totaling an estimated £38,000. The Duchess of Sussex, known for her penchant for elegant and expensive accessories, did not disappoint as she stepped out in Bogota. Welcomed by Colombia's Vice President Francia Marquez and her husband Rafael Yerni Pinillo, Meghan sported an array of dazzling pieces, including her 15,000-pound Lorraine Schwartz against Evil Eye bracelet and the iconic 17,800-pound Cartier Tank Francaise watch that once belonged to Princess Diana. This watch, originally chosen by Prince William from his mother's collection, was later exchanged with Harry, who took the sapphire engagement ring instead. Adding to her sophisticated ensemble, Meghan also wore Pippa small Kyanite classic stud earrings, priced at around £495, and a £5,000 gold Cartier love bracelet. Her outfit for the day consisted of a £596 collared vest and £349 trousers from New York-based brand Veronica Beard, paired with black Manolo Blahnik heels and a cream £3,647 Loro Piana handbag. The couple's day was filled with cultural experiences, including a visit to the Delia Zapata Art Center, where Megan changed into a colorful 1,668-pound Johanna Ortiz maxi dress. The dress, though new, mirrored a style Megan wore during a previous tour in Africa. She paired it with a 12,800-pound Cartier Just Unclue necklace, which she had also worn during a CBS interview earlier this month. For her final look of the day at a summit on digital responsibility at EAN University, Megan opted for a Victoria Beckham Brown silk shirt and La Alenia Colby pants, maintaining her Cartier necklace but switching to 1,964-pound Burke's new Citroen and diamond drop earrings. The couple's visit, marked by heavy security due to ongoing internal conflicts in Colombia, is part of a four-day cultural and social tour. This trip, inspired by Vice President Marquez's admiration for their Netflix documentary, is intended to build bridges and promote women's leadership in Colombia. The Sussexes are expected to continue their visit to other Colombian cities like Cartagena and Cali, with the exact itinerary remaining closely guarded. As the couple embarks on this quasi-royal tour, questions about the funding of the trip remain unanswered, with speculation about whether it's privately funded, supported by their Archwell Foundation, or sponsored by the Colombian government. Despite these uncertainties, the warmth and admiration from Vice President Marquez and the Colombian people have set a positive tone for the Sussexes' visit, mirroring their earlier trip to Nigeria.